again, YouTubers, and welcome to our GoMu pack opening video brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. I, of course, am MeanRN03 of eBay and YouTube and owner of ToyGamingEmporium.com. Now, obviously, I haven't done a GoMu video in a while. I've done so many of Series 1, it gets kind of stale, but I'm overdue to restock ToyGamingEmporium.com with singles for GoMu, so I need to open more packs to restock the site. So I figured I'd videotape it for you guys so you have something to watch that's GoMu related. So we got a total of a dozen six packs here. I'll probably open more soon. If I do, I'll probably record it and upload it as well. But this will be good for starters for getting some out of stock singles restocked to the website and give you guys a new GoMu video to watch. So I'm just, like I did in my last six pack video, which was probably like a month ago, I'm just gonna open these quickly, cut off the cardboard part, show what's in each pack, set aside, go to the next one, not going to worry about going points or anything like that. So, we'll just get right into the opening here and see what we come away with. Hopefully, we can get lucky for once here and find a key for the first time. That would be the best thing to have. I've yet to find any keys, even though I've opened hundreds of these packs already. So, I'm due. <laughs> Alright, first up here for our secret erasers, or even I'll call them. We got, looks like just a regular pink surfboard in there. I'm not going to put it together right now. And a purple drum set. And you can see the rest that's in there. And on to pack number two. Short and sweet. Show what's in there and move on to the next. And obviously singles can be found on the website, toygamingreporting.com. We also have seal packs on there. And as soon as Series 2 decides to hit retail, we'll, we'll likely have those on the website as well, both seal packs and singles. So here on the inside we have a Red Woman shoe and a purple and green game player, which pretty much always comes not fully assembled within the packs. A pearl penguin and a seahorse, a couple of animals. In general, the animals are the most popular ones and the ones that sell quickest. So, if you're looking for any of the animal related ones, either from the pet or from the zoo set, you may want to hurry on over to toygamerform.com to snatch up the ones we're going to be restocking here. Very shortly after I make and upload this video, I'll be restocking the site, so... Alrighty. The insides of this pack aren't very good as far as what's not visible. A red highlighter and a sandal, but there are three animals visible, so... It's a quality pack, just for that regard, just because those are amongst the better sellers. Pack number four. Would love to find me a key. So we got another blue elephant. Ah, that's a good inside here. We have a red lava lamp, which is a rare. The rarest of the lava lamps as well. All lava lamps are considered rare. And the rarest hamster, yellow and translucent in color. Haven't had very many of that one. That one, usually every time we restock it, it sells very quickly and it's got a price of around five or six dollars right now for just that one. But it's one of the higher ones to find and being an animal and the rarest color of it. A lot of people are after it, I guess, so. And when we first put the Gomu on the website, let's see. Here we got another couple of rare ones. We got the yellow clownfish and the red drum set. Another nice pack there. But uh, yeah, when we first put these on the website, I based the prices on the Gomu points. So if something was, say, 250 Gomu points, I'd price it at like $2.47. And then over time, I'd lower, increase the prices depending on how quickly or slowly they were selling. So the animals sold quickly, so. Most of the animal racers are more money than their goal points are, while other ones like picture frames, for instance, may be less than the goal points are just because they're not as popular of an eraser for people. All right. So here's another nice pack with a total of three animal-related ones. Fish count as animals, too. So we got a duck, a seal, a blue, get or red, excuse me. <laughs> I was looking at the lips. Um, Still not positive if it's a puffer fish or a blowfish. I have them named on the website as a blowfish. It'd be nice if the official Gomo website would have the actual like names for the erasers on there and not just the Gomo points. 
so we know exactly what everything should be technically called. But haven't had any complaints or anyone message me saying like why are you calling it this instead of that or whatever. So and things like the game player, a lot of people call it the DS, but I would say it's not going to be an official DS. It's going to be a generic game player or something similar to that. Just like and like this one, a lot of people call it an iPod. I think I do have iPod in the title, but I also would just have in there music player. Keep it generic as well. So here we got a yellow school bus, which is a popular one as well. And then blue suntan lotion. The blue music player is actually one of the popular ones as well, and the rabbits do well as well. The lipstick and probably the blue suntan lotion are probably the worst ones in that pack actually. I've sold many of the blue guitar as well, so. Just in case any of you are wondering what a lot of other people are most interested in. I think last I checked, the one I had sold the most of was one of the seahorses, just because it's one of the more common ones, so. I had more of it, and being an animal, a lot of people still were interested in it, so. Let's see. This guy's a smaller piece. I'll reassemble this one quickly here. Let's see. And if you don't already know, all the Gomo racers have the G on, in, on there somewhere. It helps signify that they are an official Gomo racer, not some sort of counterfeit or something. I don't know what anyone's counterfeiting these already or anything like that, but anyways. It's got red hair, hairbrush, purple lava lamp, which is rare, a couple of animals, yellow penguin, blue bunny. Penguins are, of course, amongst the most popular ones for all the animals. Alright, so we got four packs to go here. And of course, still no key. No surprise there, really. I'm pretty sure they're individually numbered. I think there were 10,000, I want to say, silver keys and 1,000 gold keys. I might be mistaken on the numbers there, but... There we got an orange amp, yellow lava lamp, a couple more animals. But, um... I haven't really checked eBay a lot, but I did catch one auction for a silver key on there, and it sold for $65 at auction for a single Gomo Eraser of a silver key. So, if you've been lucky enough to get a key, I highly suggest you don't actually use it to erase or anything. Keep it in good condition. If you're not that keen on it, you may want to look into selling it. You can get pretty good money for it, obviously. Here we got a red shoe, which also has come apart. Kind of surprised when we have them actually come apart in the packaging, but... And a yellow drum set. I think the drums are one of the, are overall for all the colors are the most popular of the rare erasers. I consider out the translucent ones to be the rare ones, just because it's the rarest of each kind. But the rares consist of the lava lamp, the school bus, um, the makeup kit, what didn't I say? <laughs> Let's just look at this quick so I know I name them all here. The rare ones are considered all these with the little orange like firework behind it. It's got drum sets, school bus, the game players, lava lamps, and the makeup kits. So there's 15 total rare ones and then two ultra rare keys. But like I said, I consider the rarest of each individual race to be a rare as well because they are a lot harder to find such as the yellow hamster or the green bunny or the green elephant or the yellow clownfish etc etc or like this phone and again all of the rarest ones for each type of racer are translucent color which is kind of neat and there's one of the officially rare makeup kits orange clownfish orange hamster not a bad pack and on to our final pack of this dozen pack opening. And I think if we did get a key, if I think there might be like a certificate of authenticity that replaces the checklist. I'm not positive on that, but I know with Mighty Beans, if you get a moose bean or some other individually numbered bean, the collector guide is replaced with a little cardboard saying like congratulations or whatever. So here for our final pack, looks like a pretty good pack. We've got the rarest of the scissors. The main white part is not translucent, but the handles or if you want to call them are, red and blue. 
we got a red makeup kit. These are always in pieces out of the pack, basically. All the parts inside are always falling out. We got the different brushes and different colors that to choose from. So, haven't had very many of that makeup kit. I have tons of the orange one. Ah, that, that, I think I have the orange makeup kit like one to two dollars below the Google points. So if it's like 600 Google points, I think it's down to like four dollars on the site. Because I have so many of them. Purple penguin. Whoops. My surfboard just don't like to stay together. That The tail fin or whatever always is coming off on those. Blue television actually don't get that many of either. So that one's probably been out of stock for a while. So that's our final pack. Subscribe if you haven't. You can get email alerts for all our future videos. I'll... Once Series 2 for Gumbo comes out, well, I'll have a lot more Gumbo videos just because it will be something new to do. And like I said, other than the keys, I think I've gotten every different Series 1 eraser for Gumbo in video on this channel already. So it all gets repetitive for me making the videos. And if you watch all the videos I made for Gumbo, it'd probably get repetitive for the viewer as well. And like I said to somebody, it's kind of like I'm making repeats despite the meeting new videos just because you're not really seeing anything new compared to my other videos. But... A lot of people still want me to do more Gumbo videos, and since I have to open them anyway to restock the website, I might as well videotape it so you guys can still watch it and enjoy that. So, like I said, subscribe if you haven't, send us your friend requests, we accept them all, give us a big thumbs up if you want to see us do more Gomu, even if it is of Series 1. Check out toygeenemporium.com if you're looking for any seal packs or singles of Series 1, and once they come out, we'll have Series 2 on there as well. And also, I think not until fall, though, there should be for Gomu, Star Wars, Disney characters, and Smurfs as well. I'm not sure if they're going to be all individual sets, or if they're going to be like just one big set of different licensed characters or what. As in, if you buy one pack, I don't know if it'll be just Star Wars characters, or if you might get a Darth Vader and a Cinderella and a Smurf all in the same pack. I'm not sure yet. If anyone happens to know, feel free to comment let me know about that. And if you have a link to that sort of information, feel free to private message that to me. And I can add to my Squidoo and Hub page for other people to find out. I'll have links for those in the description box below as well if you want some more information about Gumu overall. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.